Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. I thank you so so much for being here today. Today we're going to have a wonderful time together. So I'm going to show you how you can turn your old lampshade into a new one. Now as you can see this is a pretty old lampshade. You know, I'm going to try my best to turn it to the new one. Now this has a little bit of staining. Now this staining, I don't know how it was caused by rainwater or something. It was in the basement. So it got a little bit staining, but it's never been used. This is a new lampshade. I bought it on a sale. And it was years ago I bought it. And then since then it was sitting in the basement and then somehow it got stained and dark. So now I want to give it a new look and make it really, hoping to make it beautiful. So let me show you how to do it. So as you can see this was my previous lampshade. As you see. Well, this is a little bit cleaner, but the, my other one was really dirty. And I want to show you how I totally gave it a remodeling new look. This is my new lampshade. So this is the new look. As you see, the flowers here. So you, the flowers here, as you can see. And the bottom is the trim now I explain to this point how I put the trim I bought the Christmas trim and then I put it as I explained to you this was done in two yards of fabric so uh, I had taken two yards of fabric then I folded it and made it into equal eight pieces plus eight pieces so about 16 pieces out of two yards of fabric so one yard of fabric is eight pieces so two yards of fabric is 16 pieces and then I have joined the 16 pieces long lengthwise and then I have stitched this side this side and this side just basic stitch and then it became a huge, I did not measure, a huge long fabric. Then I rolled it, just going in and out, in and out. As you can see the inside of this is rolled. So you see I rolled it. So this is the inside. So as you can see going in, I rolled it. Okay. And then I have the Christmas tree. Christmas trim and show you whatever left over. So I have the Christmas trim this. You can get it at any craft store, this kind of trims. And this trim I got it for this was uh, actually last Christmas and it was 75% off. So the actual trim was $9.99. So I got it 75% off. So was something like two dollar fifty cents or I think eighty percent off so two dollar about that and this trim was almost like ten yards so I'll tell you exactly so as you can see I want to show you I have this fabric this is about a yard so one I eat. first I did it with one and a half yard and this is one more yard so you fold it in half like this and then again half and then again half so this will give you eight pieces and you cut it to eight pieces equal pieces and then you're going to have to stitch by the side and then you have to stitch the sides of these so I will show you that now first I'm going to begin with some fabric so for fabric I have one and half yard of muslin now what I did to that one and half yard of muslin, I folded that one and half yard of muslin to eight 
equal folds. Now, once I did eight equal folds, then I cut them up. After I cut them up, then I join them as lengthwise, as long as it could be. So remember, it's one and a half yard of muslin fabric. You can take any kind. The reason I picked the muslin because it was a uh, I got it on sale, so it was really cheap. It was uh, I believe it's four dollars per yard, and then I got sixty percent off coupon. It was an online coupon. You can download the app. Nowadays, every store has the app. So. After that, it came dollar sixty a yard, so it's one and a half yard of fabric, and then I fold it to eight equal pieces and cut them up. After I did that, I stitched them. Here's the stitch for each pieces. There's a stitch. So once I stitched them straight, then I laid it flat like this. Gave another stitch. After all the eight pieces done, then I did the sides. So sides I stitched like this. So now, after all this done, now I have to roll the fabric to the lamp set. Now this is going to be a long job, so I'm going to just show you initially how I do it. And then after that, once I complete, then I'll show you the complete thing. Because this is going to take a little while. And you will do, you know, fix it, do it, fix it, do it. There's no right or wrong way. It's just you see what looks good. Based on that, you will do it. So let me show you how to start. And then I'll roll it. And then I'll show you the finished product. And beside that, I am going to use some other materials so this is a trim now this is a Christmas trim and this um, what I usually do at the end of the Christmas for when it goes like 75% 80% off that time I get this huge uh, trims usually if you buy this uh, during the Christmas time these trims are like a dollar or ten dollar but this not just a yard this trim is like ten yards I believe so I purchased this last year also a local craft store and then throughout the year I use it for several products and that way my expenses I keep it under control so now what I did so I measured the bottom and I cut it. So once I put the white fabric, then I'll show you how I'm going to use this. But as you know, these Christmas trims have this wire. These are wire trim. So I had to take out the wire though. So taking out the wire, I had to pull it like this. And it wasn't easy. It's a kind of a tedious job, but you know. If you like doing it, you can do it. So that's what I did to these two pieces. Now one will go on each. I have two lampsets, so one will each will go in each lampset. So let me just start with the white fabric, and then we'll get to this. This will be the second stage. So first, I'm going to start with the fabric. So I'm going to put little bit of hot glue. Since this is a kind of like a plastic metal in there, so I'm not going to be able to stitch, so I have to use a little bit of hot glue. And then I added the fabric, so added a little bit of hot glue and added the fabric, so that's going to hold it. Now I have to hold it like this. And rotate. So as I tell, I was telling you that this is going to take a while. So 
it will just like this we're going to go around and you don't need to add too much of glue you just see where you need a little bit you add so you have to just fix it and then like this you come down so as you see like this so like this you will continue throughout so now I'm going to go this way and I'm not going to put any glue right now I'm just going to continuously pull it and go up and down like this I just cover it if you just keep it in a bundle so you can just set up for so like this so as, as I'm showing you like this you will go around the entire lampshade and you at the same time you'll fix the top and bottom make sure they lined up and just you know use your imagination to line them up nicely like this so you don't need to add too much glue you just Add wherever you think you need a little bit. And also check it to make sure where they are falling. So like this I will continue the entire section and then I will show you what I do next. So as you can see I have almost wrapped this one and just a little bit left. So for that I had to create more fabric too so I got more fabric and I'm going to just glue this part and I've been using very little glue and most of it is just wrapping it so just like this and then I have to wrap it so I'll just use little glue here hope my glue is heated up it's not heated up yet so as soon as it heats up I'll show you so just a few more rounds This will take a little bit. So with the trim, you see this top portion, what I did with the top portion and these, um, the trim at the bottom, I just put it like this. Let me show you exactly how I did it. So for the bottom portion, I just hold it like this and glued it. So nothing much. So I went around and hold it and glue it. But before doing that, as you know, these Christmas trims, they come with a little piece of wire inside. Now, you may choose to take that wire out or you may choose to leave it in as you wish. For rotating this, I took it out. But for over here, I did not take it out. So what I did for these flowers, I just cut it into little pieces and then I went like this and cut it and like this and cut it exactly the leaves and the pieces and then I added it with hot glue so let me show you some of this so you see like this so I added with the hot glue like this so you could choose to put it anywhere you wish and add it like this with hot glue. And for the bigger pieces over here, see I cut this one. Now I have the other side I just showed you. I have that one to make so I'm going to use some of these bigger pieces. Now this was a very creative project. All you need is your 
desire to be creative and get wild with it and just and don't be afraid to experiment you know experiment with things like what could be the worst thing just a new another new design so just that's what I did I had no idea this is what I'm going to make I got my trim and I decided like okay I'm going to give it a new look and that's all I knew so like this you cut the trim if you have something flowery trim like this so then you can get the flowers out so like this and now I'm going to cut it just at right at the edges so I get the flowers so like this so you get the idea so I have like this so I have like this and then I just add it like this because if I were to add it like this then it would have been a little bit harder at the same time it won't be so pretty so I added like this after cutting it just the way it's supposed to be and now you can add all this and then after I add all this I'm going to what I'm going to do is add some sequin to it so let me get the sequin and everything ready hot glue ready so as you can see I have added the sequin to it so a tiny little white sequin and I'm going to do a little bit over here just to show you so I'll just put the dots like this. So if you do make any mistake, just wipe it off and they'll do it. So there is no right or wrong way and it doesn't have to be perfect you just stick it to the glue the, I'm using this is glitter dimensional fabric paint and I have used the glue to hot glue to stick the leaves but this is the fabric paint so like this I have a little bit this side left I'll do this side and we're done. If it goes little off, you know, like you drop two in the place of one, and just so it's okay. Don't worry about it. When it dries, it will really look awesome. Especially when the light is glowing. So like this I'm putting randomly. Like this. Just add it randomly. Now I'll just fill this in. And I will let it sit and dry for a few hours, couple of hours, most definitely. So you can just take it in your, this is big, I could have used the big ones, but I'll just use the little ones, little ones will look better. So just pick it, pick up with the, any kind of tool. And just stick it and when they are dry they will look lovely so this table lamp is really looking gorgeous lampshade
making this pretty Christmassy. I think that's it. Oh, I have one more over here. That's it. We're done. So, as you can see, this is my table lamp. Lamp shade. And this is how it's looking. It has all the sequins and leaves and the trim and now it's looking beautiful and new thank you so much don't forget to like subscribe comment and share the video and i will see you with many 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 more videos thank you have an awesome night hi thank you so so much for being here today i hope you enjoyed the video Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share this video. Thank you. May God bless you all.